Hey, welcome back. I am playing Paper Mario today because I can't record in my bedroom, like I mentioned in my vlog video. So, I wasn't a super big fan of playing this game, but um, I like it. And I don't know what else to play because I. I'm on my I brought my computer in the living room, and also my PC is really loud. My laptop, it's all a mess. But still, somehow, every week, I figure out a way to do this. I don't I forget. You have to do something with this guy. Special. I don't care, just do it. Okay, cool. <laughs> um, so, the first thing I noticed doing the capture is like, I don't know, maybe this isn't true, and it's all in my head, but I feel like I'm really pale, just because, uh, ow, <laughs> um, I haven't left the house. I left the house, like twice in the past week. I went to church and I went to the bank. <laughs> and I just did that for like 10, I was only outside for like 10 minutes. So, okay, I have to get the letters and bring it to that, oh, sorry. I'm just very pale. I'm so white. Oh god. I'm already kind of pale and like I just never go out in the sun anymore. <laughs> it's bad. I told the therapist that and she's kind of like, yeah, it's not great that you're staying home all day. <laughs> I told her it doesn't bother me, which is true. Um, I'm not... I'm not anxious when I'm by myself, obviously, and I'm not depressed. Um, I feel like I mentioned that before, but like just in a general sense, I'm kind of sad about like, oh, you're not doing anything. But minute to minute, I feel fine. Almost happy <laughs> when I'm by myself. Even though, I don't know, people always say like, oh, if you're an introvert, like, you can be around people, but then you have to go home to recharge. But I'm like, I don't feel like I'm recharging. I, I, well, I guess that's how a battery works, right? You can still charge it when it's at 100%. So yeah, I guess that makes sense. Um, so I'm, I'm at 100% right now. <laughs> and when I leave, it starts depleting. I guess that's a fine analogy. And then... The problem when I went to work every day was that, like, being at home wasn't enough time to recharge, I guess. So, like, when I had to go back the next day, I was still just like, oh, I don't want to be here. I don't want to go home. <laughs> um, so now, hopefully, when I go out, it's like, oh, I'm 100%. That's not how it works, though. I wish it worked like that. I was going to talk about a song that I didn't like today. <laughs> it's a bad idea to talk about this stuff, but... Oh, that's fun. <laughs> what was the point of that? <laughs> Okay. But yeah, well, one other quick thing I wanted to mention. I always used to say, like, when I recorded on Saturday, it was worse because <clears throat> I hadn't talked all day. And this is my first time talking. And this is my first time talking today. Even though it is a work day, I didn't talk to anybody today. I didn't say anything today. This is the first time I'm talking. So, 
it might be bad. There's one more left. Where is your And that's kind of what I told the therapist too, is like, I'm worried that if I'm not around people, like I'm already bad at interacting socially. And that was from being, and I was still interacting with people every day because I was at work every day. And then Saturday I went to the grocery store and then on Sunday I went to church. I still didn't really talk that much, but I was still like trying to interact with people. But now I don't do that anymore because I'm just at home all day. So am I gonna have like regress even worse? Is that even possible? Have I reached rock bottom yet or no? <laughs> Is there further down to go? It can be scary a little bit. I don't know where that third letter is. Oh, I got boom. <laughs> How many of those can you get? Um, I thought about it like a lot more. That's why I mentioned it before. Like, oh, you gotta rev it up, but. I don't know if I can even rev it up today. Lawnmower is broken. <laughs> I don't know. I guess this note kind of does tie into my uh, meaning of life stuff, and also. It's, it's it's an interesting thing that like, I'm in this new area that I've never been in before. And so I went to my job last week to get a computer. And the lady there had the radio on and was playing country music, which is interesting. I don't even know in New Jersey if they even have country stations. <laughs> But here, like, even when I was flipping around the radio, it was like, oh, this is K1023, country all the time, every time. And then you flip to the next one, and it's like, K105, country every day, all the day. <laughs> like, every, this is a lot of country. Everywhere except where I live, I guess people, and, and there's like pop stations too, but. Um, we don't listen to country music, and we don't like it. <laughs> That's not really true. Um, but I don't, I don't, I, I get this sick feeling in my stomach whenever I hear country music. I don't know what it is. It's like a visceral reaction to like, oh, I don't like this. I don't know why. There's something about music where like, if you didn't grow up with it and you don't really like that kind of music, your immediate reaction is like, Bleh, ugh, I, don't, I don't like this. This is stupid. This is so bad. What are these, these singing about? trucks that's stupid but i don't know every song is stupid i've never really understand understood like music <laughs> like what's a good song tell me a good song and then look at the lyrics and be like these lyrics are stupid it's hard to be interesting in three minutes <laughs> i've always said like i like tv more than movies because it's hard it's hard to to be interesting in like an hour and a half so like that's like an e extension of that for me like well it's hard to be interesting in three minutes <laughs> um i don't know how to beat that guy so i'm not gonna fight him so obviously you can't go this way um okay but the song it's called happy is as happy does that was that was the song that i heard I never heard it before. Um, and I was just thinking about it yesterday more, just thinking about this country viewpoint of what what's nice, like, oh, let's be relaxed. And the song is like, oh, how to be happy, how, how to be a happy person in like a country way. 
So, but, but like looking at the lyrics, it just makes me like, oh, I don't. So I guess I'll just read the lyrics because I pulled them up. The things that I don't like. Um, okay, so he's giving you a picture. The first verse is like a picture of this guy who's happy. And um, his name is Ol Ol Sunoco Charlie drives an 87 Harley, sells gasoline and what you drink, 8 to 3 a.m. Got a tattoo for the core and ex-wife number four humming along, schooling you on the songs on his station. He could be another cuss in the government. Nah, but he smiles. Got a hundred reasons not to. But he's the poster child for happy is as happy does. This is the chorus. Got a six string, find a rope string. Hang a palm tree in your truck. Drink a beer just because. Steal a slow dance in a rainstorm. Kiss from, from who you love. Laughing little with a half full cup. Yeah, happy is as happy does. Uh, so I don't like that <laughs> and I know this is just like you have a visceral reaction to something like well, I don't like this and then your brain tries to come up with reasons why like if I looked at an Owl City song I would I would see the same stuff um, maybe not exactly but um, <laughs> I was a little angry when I wrote this note like I don't know why but like as angry at these people like this is your meaning of life drink a beer just because it's like these people are stupid and they're trying to whoa figure out well, why why am i alive and then this is their reason this is all they can come up with was just like i like drinking a beer and sitting on a swing so was that the meaning of life <sighs> Is that I? It's fine if that's what makes you happy. We're all just trying to be happy, but drink a beer just because it's these idiots trying to tell you why they're happy. Like, cause I have a truck and four wives, then I'm happy. You're an idiot, <laughs> and that's a dumb reason to be happy. If that's my reason to be happy, I'm gonna kill myself. <laughs> I need a better reason to be happy. How can you not be nihilistic if that's your... He was in the army and he has had four wives and is like, just be sad. You're allowed to be sad. He, happy is as happy does. It, it's like you're, you're pretending to be happy. Oops. I don't know what it is. But it's like, I don't look to this guy as my uh, mentor or my like pillar of happiness. Oh, I, I want to be like that guy. You know, he just drinks and he owns a gas station and he's just happy because that's what he does. And I just have to be something more than that. <laughs> if that's why you're happy, it's not enough for me obviously I gotta figure out how to to use these slides to get the the last letter I don't know where it is I don't know If I'm that guy, I'm not going to be happy. So what's wrong with me? Happy is as happy does. <laughs> I don't know. I want to be that guy who can just sit and be like, Oh, I own a gas station and I've had four wives and they all hate me. And I was in the army and I have PTSD. But like, I don't hate the government because like, I'm just happy because that's what I do because I have a rope swing. Kill me, kill me. I don't, I can't do it. <laughs> I can't live like that. I mean, he, he, he's figured it out. He's figured out how to be happy. But yeah, I mean, the idea of the song is like, we need to be like that guy. 
and we'll all be happy. But what's he doing? And they never say, these songs about like happiness, they never say. Got a hundred reasons not to, but he's the poster child for happy is as happy does. So this is the, this is, I mean, he's saying this is, this is the meaning of life. I mean, he's acknowledging that he has a hundred reasons not to be happy. But he's saying like, oh, he's the poster child for happy is as happy does, because he's got a six string and a rope swing. Drink a beer just because? Ah, oh, that like, it's like a knife in my chest. Drink a beer just because. You're just doing stuff. You don't have a reason. Well, I feel like drinking a beer today. And oh, if I get drunk and beat my wife, that's fine. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. But like, there's, it, it just, like these people are just like dogs. I don't know. Like, I don't mean to say it like that. But like, they're happy all the time and they don't know why. They're just like, I want to go fetch the ball and it just makes me happy. And like, I, I just because. But I don't feel that way. I don't feel like I can just be happy with the present. That sounds bad. I can't be, I, I just, yeah, I never felt satisfied with my life. Like a dog, like should we all just live like dogs and be like, dogs, they're happy all the time. But is their life Fulfilling? I don't know. I mean, to them it is, because they're dogs and they don't care. But I'm not a dog, and I can't just like sit around and drink a beer and be like, "Ooh, this is what I do," and and not think about it and not be like, Wait, "What? I'm drinking a beer, and like that's the that's why God put me here." I don't know. That's how I link it. Is like, why am I? I'm here to build a rope swing? I mean, I guess. I don't get it though. Happy is as happy does. I don't know, I guess you can appreciate life more if you do have like a bad, a lot of bad things happen to you and then you're just like, yeah, this is nice. I'm just sitting at my gas station and I don't got any cares in the world. That's nice, but I can't, I just, my, I don't operate like that. Anyway, um, yeah, that's it. I gotta figure out where the third letter is. So, see you tomorrow. Bye.